sits on the board's judicial conduct um, is uh, a former public defender in that county, and that maybe one reason that, that any investigation into this conduct hadn't been undertaken is that he, too, was a lover of one of these women. But it seems to me, let, let me say this first and foremost. If you're a probation officer in the courtroom presided over by a judge with whom you either have or are currently having sexual relations, how in the world can anybody purport that that is a proceeding that is not in any way um, compromised? That, that is my question. You've got a probation officer making recommendations to her lover. You've got a defense attorney fighting against the revocation of probation and the institution of a jail sentence that is having to take an adversarial position with someone who is intimately aware of the judge's privates. How is that in any way meeting out justice in any shape, form, or fashion? And Mr. Wilcher, uh, like I said, who is a Facebook friend of mine, goes on to lambaste the Board of Professional Responsibility and whether or not it's just a bunch of attorneys protecting attorneys. And I can tell you this. Um, if they don't investigate these allegations, it's because it's the wife of a judge. Because when it comes to judges they don't like, like John Gassaway and his wife Carrie, when it comes to judges they don't like or attorneys they don't like, they will hound you to the depths of hell.